Hi, this is Nama Dimitri. One of the easiest vegetables you can grow in your garden, even if you're zero, if, if you're one of the worst gardeners in the world, gardener for dummies, is the zucchini squash, or otherwise known as the courgette. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, these are the leaves. They're large and they're kind of thorny. Um, and... Um, and they just spread out and they last as does the plant. This is what the plant looks like. It kind of, it doesn't really run, but it kind of like f grows bigger and kind of flops over, as you can see here, um, to give its leaves a maximum exposure to the sun. This is a sun lover. So if you don't have sun, if you don't have a sunny summer, don't try to grow this one. But apart from that and a bit of water, uh, it will do the job all on its own. Uh, and then you get the fantastic pleasure of going down to this plant with your little knife and digging around through the foliage until you spot the object of our desire, which is hard to show you here, but I think here it is. I think you can probably see it. Uh, you just cut the stem and here it comes out. Um, and this is the zucchini or the courgette. If you notice, this is normally I cut them a little smaller. This is a little big for my taste. I prefer them younger. Um, but it's it's going to be good no matter what. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of green white. This is my favorite variety. This is an Italian variety, uh, and it just tastes much better than the stuff than the really green, dark green stuff that you find in the supermarket. This is much better. Um, the flesh is much more luxurious to the mouth, uh, and especially when you cook it right after you cut it, it's just absolutely delicious. Um, I will show you the size that I normally cut these guys. Uh, here is a good one, right over here. And this is the size I normally cut them. This is it. This is the regular one, about the size of my hand. Um, and this is absolutely delicious. It, it qualifies, I think, as a young courgette, and it's pretty delicious. Ah, there's a nice view of the mountains right behind me, uh, just being uncovered by the fog, the morning fog. Anyways, so when you see this, what are you seeing? You're seeing, first of all, the stem where I cut it from, a little bit of plant anatomy for you. So this is the stem where I cut it from. This is where the thing grows from. And then there is this funny thing right at the end, okay, which sometimes in high-end uh, grocery stores, you will see this hanging out. What the hell is this? It's the flower. So I'll show you what um, a zucchini flower looks like and you'll understand how this gets grown, okay? Um, let me dig in here for a good one. There, there's a good one. So here's a good one. I'm gonna reach out for it. There you go. So here's the zucchini flower, okay? So this is the stem, okay? This is the stem by which the flower is attached to the plant, okay? So the equivalent of this stem this stem here, this little thin stem, will eventually become this stem, okay? And this part, sorry, let's use this one, it will eventually become this stem. And this is actually the flower, so this will become that. Um, so where is the zucchini hidden on the flower? It's right here. It's this little bulbous thing that you see at the edge, right? This. This thing little here is the thing that's going to become the zucchini. Um, so uh, this grows out in the plant. It gets fertilized by bees and pollinated by bees. And then um, a week passes and then this thing has turned into this with this being the flower, this being the stem, and this being the fruit. Um, so right into this small little thing, that's where the whole job happens, the whole job of fertilization and pollination by the bees. So when you look at the flower head down, you see that its actual sexual organs are right in the middle, right here, okay? And that's where the DNA, the exchange of DNA happens, and we have some, we have a fertilized flowers, and then the flower, and then this grows and becomes your zucchini, which you then come down, you cut, and you eat. Um, so that's a little bit of plant anatomy and a little bit of garden advice uh, for those of you that like zucchini and courgette. There's so many things you can do with them. I have some recipes, I think, on my 
YouTube um, channel. Um, so that's it. Happy trails from the Alpine farm. Bye-bye.